Here now looking at the configuration, you know, and the workspaces. So as I, you know, showed in the videos there, I created the A dot configuration. I did a my company one as well. But if I open up the A dot configuration, I see then there's a workspace folder, A dot, with a matching A dot config. That A dot config is the config where I was setting those variables in and telling it that I wanted to have those things available for all my work sets within that workspace. So if you see on this, the second half there is the work sets, my project one, project two, they have corresponding config files and DGNWS files. If you set things in that like project one config, project two config, you may set variables in there and point to things specific to those projects inside of that workspace. But the, the workspace, setting it at a workspace level, all work sets get it. Work set level, just that one work set gets it. So here you'll see I demonstrate having those variables set and then seeing how with those set, how you see different things in one workspace compared to the other. So the resources I set, the DGN libs I set, so I've created the DGN lib with my text styles, dimension styles in it. I have the fonts specific to, you know, a particular resource file that I want to load. So we can see how we load those. Here I select the A dot configuration, A dot workspace and project work set. I go to my text style, my dimension style, and my place text dialog boxes. You will see here a list of font resources and styles in the boxes, all from the variable we set specifically for the A dot configuration. And then if we go and we choose the company, our company standard configuration, we go to workspace and work set there, same thing. Go to text style, dimension style, place text, and now you see a different list of dimension styles, text styles, font resources, all based on this configuration settings. So as you see there, then the A dot uh, workspace and work set. So it's delivered with the role standards and work sets folders. Then inside of that, you have in the work sets there, you have, or inside the standards there, you have the cell. DGN lib and macros are delivered. I, in this case, have added the SYMB folder and placed the resources in there and set the variable to point to that folder to load those specific resources. The DGN lib folder is the one I used where I placed my text style and uh, dimension style DGN lib in there. And then the, it loads just from you know that workspace. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.